you have to be here sometimes if this is an other uh, sometimes what happens if this mp3 that is there if it is in the other folder it does work and sometimes it doesn't i mean for some browsers it is going to support and for some browsers it doesn't so what you are going to do is at that part of time you just have to add your audio tag in the folder where your other contents are there for that particular project and then you have to add in it this is how you can use your audio file in your program. Okay, that was the audio track for you guys. Let's check. Next, let us see the video. The video element is used to play a video file on the web page. So, the same way where you have your video control, audio control, the same way you just have to paste your video control. Just remove this audio control. Place of audio at the video. I see and also the type video whatever JPG is there you just have to add it in there okay so we have an, a video file over here just gonna copy the video file paste it in the code The name of the file appeared. Paste .mp4 as well as your dot mp4. Save this. Show the preview. You cannot see anything, so you need to add the controls. So this is it. But you can see, as usual, it is not playing at all. So what is the problem? The problem is. Let us go to the live server here. Let us go to the live server. Open with the live server. Here you can see that these are not accessible. They are being disabled. So what is the actual problem? And the actual problem is that the video that we are taking, it is not in the same file. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this file from here and I'll paste it in the same file where my other files are also present. So let us just complete it once. Okay, it's done. So now, 
go back to your Visual Studio Code, delete this, save it. So now you can see that everything is being enabled and you have your video here. So in order to decrease the size of this video, what you want to do is you can just add your height and width text. So I will just add certain height for this. Height is equal to 400 and the width will be equal to 500. I'll save this. Open it. Now you can see that the height and the width of this is being changed. They're calling me, so I gotta <laughs> now you can see this here. This is how it is going to reflect here. You're doing great. Is it done yet? Oh, 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 oh. This is how you're going to add the audio and the video controls in your Visual Studio Code HTML source. Okay, whatever we have seen just now was in Visual Studio Code. Now let us see this audio and video tag in the Sublime Text Editor as well. So this is also one of the editor just like your Sublime Text Editor. So here, I'll just save this file as on the desktop itself as index dot dot html inside this index.html i'll be having my html file and this title will be try trying audio and video tags in other editors all right so next you have the audio tag here for this audio tag you also need your source tags so inside this is source tag so there in visual studio here in visual studio we have added the same thing here in our visual uh, in the files where the other html tags are there now if i just open this tag here and if i am going to go to the properties now you can see that it is in the other folder whereas your HTML for your sublime text editor is here. I'll just add it slash it is in the other file okay completely other file other folder. So this is ohm copy this ohm ohm dot mp3 and for the type I'm gonna add audio dot your slash mp3. I'll just save this right click open it in the browser oh we have forgot about the controls so controls save it now refresh it now you can see that wherever it may be or in any of the file it may be it is going to play the same sound that we have used in there okay so this you can do it with sublime text editor that is the, the image the audio tag or the video tag it might be in any of your folders in your computer this is going to work for sublime text editor but whereas whenever you want to do the same thing in your visual studio code you need to add it in the same folder where your particular programs are present so this is the adjustment made by those particular editors you need to go with those particular editors itself so this is how you can add your audio and your video tags in your html source code that's all for today's video video again in the next week in the next video with some more content in html till then keep learning stay tuned bye